Greetings family, greetings African Bad Nation. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch our videos and for subscribing, for buying us coffee, for a lot many things that you guys have been doing to us, sharing our videos and all that. The positive and negative comments all up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So when we look at Burkina Faso, when we see Ibrahim Traore, they always call him the president of the transition. Mm -hmm. But guess what, guys? Transition has ended. Now, he's not an interim president. He's the president, official, the president of Burkina Faso. I know, guys, I know the West have been waiting for elections. But now, something happened. On the 25th of May, 2024, when was that? Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. We saw the national meetings on the follow-up to the translation beginning on that morning. And they were to decide on the continuation of the Burkina Bay transition this Saturday. And they stayed there for like 48 hours, two days, Saturday and Sunday. And we saw them proposing that the new transition charter mm -hmm. submitted to the current national meetings in Wagadu proposed an extension of the transition by 42 months that is three and a half years okay. this extension was supposed to allow president ibrahim traore to be eligible to run for presidential elections but what happened the young people so yeah after hearing that the captain's term is to be extended at least by three and a half months young people gather themselves and i've always wondered how do they do it is it through social media or no they physically kind of, they physically go like do, we, so, do they have a whole like hey it's time we need to gather and go <laughs> yeah because they have they remember in those three countries they mm -hmm. had these night videos mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. so i think they have like some civil society they have youth leaders mm -hmm. who call them oh, you okay. we will they will be meeting on 25th this so and this day will be outside. Yeah, venue. And I'm sure Let they do Facebook, yeah. uh, Twitter. Because well, whatever platform they are using is so powerful. So yeah. they all gathered um, in the meeting hall, outside the meeting hall, and they were chanting outside, "Give our captain five years at least." Because the, uh, no, no, they were saying ten uh, years. Remember? Okay, yeah, ten years. No, there was even <laughs> clappers of hundred years in the previous protest that yeah. they had. Yeah. captain for a hundred years yeah, you know yeah, yeah. but for this one they were not accepting anything less than five years so when they had talks about three and a half years they even threatened that if you dare try keep and uh, give a captain three and a half years or anything less than five years rest assured you will not make it out of that hole yes yeah so what happened later is they had to add from 42 months mm -hmm. to 60 months so captain ibrahim Traore will be the official president of Burkina Faso mm -hmm. for 60 months, that is five years. And after that, the mm -hmm. country's president, mm -hmm. the prime minister and the head of the Transitional Legislative Assembly have the right to participate in the next election. That is Captain Ibrahim Traore who have the right to participate. And we saw him signing it. Yeah, and it begins on July 2024. It will start on July 2nd, 2024. Mm -hmm. So the prolongation starts from July 22nd, 2024. Mm -hmm. And the decision was made after national hearings, the Burkina Faso Information Agency reported. And these national hearings had all leaders, including religious leaders, mm -hmm. community leaders, you know, spiritual leaders, like all the people are represented, youth leaders, you see, youth leaders are inside there arguing with the old people and yeah. saying, no, we need 10 yeah. years. So they finally decided it's 10, uh, no, 5 years. Mm. And after that, Ibrahim Torre will be eligible to run for presidency yeah. together with Apollonia Chelem, the mm. prime minister. Mm. In Mali, I think we saw the same thing, but they gave our uh, colonel. Asimigoita. Yeah, Asimigoita, three and a half, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, mm -hmm. but I'm sure maybe they will extend that some. Yeah. Point. Now that the, the, the <laughs> Malian youth are looking at Burkina Faso and they say, "Man, we played ourselves." We I'm, I'm wondering what will happen to <laughs> Generatiani. Probably to be Ten six, years. seven, <laughs> ten. Yes. Now they know better. 
yeah. yeah, but it's good to see that the people can speak and decisions can be made just by the people standing up for what they believe in. The old people were not believing in Traore. I don't know if now they are convinced because yeah, sure they, most yeah. of them yeah. were really against Traore, you know, being their leader, saying that he's too mm -hmm. young. And for me, I don't understand. Does leadership really mean you have to be an old man for you to be yeah, that, wise you know, that and is, to lead the notion that, is, that we have? That is the notion that we have been having. That you is know? why even mm -hmm. even when it comes to to running for elections, fight very old people. Yeah, now that's a problem that we have as an African society. But when you look at our culture, our traditions, mm -hmm. even a small boy, small as five years, six years, can be a leader, can be a king can be even a yeah. spiritual guide for that village and yeah. community because leadership is not just the statue or the, yeah. you know, the, 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 the physical structure. Leadership is wisdom and wisdom can be anointed to you as, as early as when you are born. So you yeah. don't have to be an old man like Tinubu for you to be wise and be now able to lead. Like, like this, this uh, macronation. Mm -hmm. Guys, when I say macronation, I mean what they call tribe. Mm -hmm. But to us, it, they are nations because we were nations mm. and we are still nations. It's this micronation which spans from Kenya into Ethiopia. It's the biggest micronation in Ethiopia. It's mm. called the Oromo mm. or the Borana. Mm. They have like two, those two names. They have one king. Mm. And the king rules over the, the whole region, the whole micronation. Mm. So those who are in Kenya usually go to visit the king in exactly. Ethiopia because the king right now is in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And do you know he was, when he was anointed the king, he was in second year of university. Mm -hmm. So he dropped, mm -hmm. he became the king. Exactly. But guys, we have seen the Western media reporting in a shady manner. Yeah. Like BBC saying, Burkina Faso, military government has announced it will extend junta rule for another five years. Not, it's not the government. It's the young people who said we want that. Yeah. And the people of Burkina Faso, so it's not the government. So it's very wrong to report that. And I'm positive that the French media also are not happy. These guys expected something they could manipulate and all that. But woe unto them, it's not. You know, the funny thing is that, or the sad thing for them is that it's the people. Do you know when the people have the control, there is absolutely nothing you can do. Yeah. Because if, if, for example, with their puppets, the people were in control. It would have been difficult, even if you have a puppet there, but the people are looking at things and they're saying, no, we are not having it this way. Then you cannot manipulate the people, but you can manipulate one individual who's, you know, stomach hungry and just wants anything for his family. But yeah. the masses, you can never manipulate them. And in Burkina Faso, they don't accept anything that is not to their standards. Traore has shown them that things are possible. Everything is possible so there's nothing that you can tell them no you can't do this you can't do that or this can't happen in your country so anything that you tell them right now they look at you and they're like who are you what are you saying you know we know this is possible Traore is the man to lead us here don't tell us anything you know about anything in our country so kudos to the Burkina base we love you we love our captain and may god continue you feel like we are part you know? of the family i know man yeah. like like we are Burkina Bay. <laughs> you know you know when you what I've learned mm. through the weeks. Eh? Mm. Uh, when you say Burkina, then you add Bay. Mm -hmm. You know that's so African. Mm -hmm. Because if you say, uh, for example, Nairobi Bay, mm -hmm. in I think it's Fulani, mm -hmm. it means the people of that, mm -hmm. you know, the people of that region, mm -hmm. the people of that village. Okay? Mm -hmm. But it means of that village, so of Burkina. Mm -hmm. So Burkina Bay is of Burkina. Burkina. Yes. The land and, of the upright. Yeah. Yes. And the yeah. thing that I'm so yeah, that makes me happy that I thank the most high and, the, and our ancestors is mm -hmm. the Sahel will never be the same again. Oh. Burkina Faso will never be the same again. The young people have tasted and now they know it's sweet. Thomas Sankara is so if from if, if anything happens that they get a puppet and now because the wokeness that is hey, with Africans yeah. They will realize it's a, they will go and remove that person from the oh, you can't and die. bring back it. You know, it's so difficult for anybody to take the pattern from from, from the people from Traore right now because if you have to follow from um, his term, 
you have to be better yeah. than him. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm sure it will be for him to step down. Yeah. Otherwise, this guy have, has worked immensely. In just down here, we have seen millions of jobs created, something like wheat. Mm -hmm. You know, when you sit down with a Burkina Bay and they tell you, we never had wheat, but mm -hmm. now we have 600 yeah. hectares okay. of wheat which was harvested. Mm -hmm. harvested and we are intensifying mm -hmm. wheat, something the French told them that they cannot mm -hmm. grow. Plantain. Mm -hmm. What is, what is the country that said we won't be? Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> Cote d'Ivoire said that they are not going to export we, uh, <laughs> plantain. Plantain to Nafaso. Oh. And Captain Ibrahim Trara was like, no, guys, come on. <laughs> Grow it don't don't worry. We are going to grow exactly. it. Exactly, and that's they the did. kind of mentality that we want. You see, wheat they did. In fact, you remember they grew wheat. They harvested them all. Like we are canceling all imports yeah, yeah, yeah. of wheat. Mm. And uh, just on our previous video, there's a well, not one, but a few subscribers who are a bit concerned with what our captain is doing when he says he's gonna introduce, reintroduce our spirituality. spirituality. You know, to fight the enemy. Some people are saying Haiti did the same and look at where they are right now, it never helped them, you know, and people are really, okay, some people are really not understanding what our African spirituality is all about because I've been seeing a lot of witchcraft, evil, I don't know what, but people need to understand that our spirituality is not just what has been portrayed on yes. TV as the witchcraft, as the evil. You know, we see on movies and we get yeah. scared. It's deeper and unless you understand it, I always say don't comment about it. Unless you have done your own research, unless you have dug and... If you understand astronomy. Yeah, you can... African astronomy. Do, just do not even bother. To, you know, those are things that you just need to move past. Don't even come with feelings. Ah, now I don't have respect for him. Do you understand what spirituality, African spirituality is? before you can condemn what he's doing. What, one thing that Ibrahim Traore understands is someone who has dropped his culture mm -hmm. and is using another person's That's culture is a slave. Mm -hmm. So these people are trying to remove that slavery inside us. The three presidents are trying to remove that, you know, slavery. Mm -hmm. We are enslaved, especially mentally, mm -hmm. out of us. And saying that I'm bringing back our culture okay. is the best thing because having your own culture, your spirituality, mm. is you. It is understanding who you are. When they talk about Haiti, right now Haiti, what percent knows their original spirituality? It's messed up. Then Haiti was not messed up by their spirituality. Mm. They were messed by the West, America. U.S. has messed it. France has messed Haiti. So guys, let us know what you think about our captain's, should we call it extension? It's like, uh, oh, it's extension, but a new beginning from July 2nd, 2020. We are excited and we know for sure you are celebrating with us, but we'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to like the video, comment, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you'd love to support us, please do click the link in the description box. We have a buy me a coffee, buy me, buy him a coffee. And we'll appreciate all your support. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. bye.